Fox 46 continues to follow a developing story on the deadly tornado outbreak. Dozens of people of, in five states are dead after twisters wreaked havoc in their communities this weekend. Now, cleanup efforts are underway as search and rescue teams continue to look for those still missing in the rubble. The deadly storms and tornadoes swept across Kentucky, Illinois, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Missouri. Kentucky's governor expects the death toll to climb to at least 50. That's where we find our Gerard Jabali, who is in Mayfield with a look at the devastating aftermath of the storm. Good morning. We're out here again in Mayfield, Kentucky, a very cold night. Temperatures dipping down into the 30s. All the residents here without power, making it a very difficult stay here overnight. Uh, one other thing they are totally without is water. This is the town's water tower right behind me, a mangled mess of twisted steel. And that is what the power of the wind can really do here. Preliminarily, the tornado rated uh, an EF3. We're not certain yet if this was a single one to track over four states or multiple. They are still looking into that. As we move into the next several weeks, we'll be getting more information from those uh, storm surveys. But the folks here are just trying to sift through these huge mountains of debris and rubble to try to find anything that they may be able to salvage as they begin the very difficult and arduous task of rebuilding. Here in Mayfield, Kentucky, I'm meteorologist Gerard Javili for News Nation. Back to you. It's 916 now. Volunteers from North Carolina are already on the ground to help. A bus carrying Samaritan's Purse Response Specialist left Boone for Mayfield, Kentucky on Saturday morning. Today, more volunteers from across the country are heading to the disaster zones to help people impacted. We spoke with Samaritan's Purse's uh, Todd Taylor earlier this morning about the organization's response to the disaster. Our team in Mayfield is reporting just as you, your previous report just stated, just absolute complete devastation. Um, so we're working with local churches uh, to set up a base of operation where we'll be able to bring volunteers in from across the nation uh, for the weeks and months to come to begin helping with this initial cleanup. President Biden approved an emergency declaration for Kentucky. He's ready to do the same for other states if needed.